Well, a lot of you are making racing games at the moment where you're up against these AI cars. And uh, one of the things about a racing game is you kind of want a winner. And a few people were asking about that today. So this is how you have like a finishing line. Uh, I'm going to start by putting in a empty game object, which is going to be on my finishing line. Just put it a little bit forwards there. Uh, all the, fin the finishing line is going to be invisible. It's just going to detect people crossing the line. Uh, so what I'm going to do that with is with a collider. So a collider is a way of detecting collisions. And if I zoom in on my collider, I'll click that button so I can resize it. Uh, I'm going to make it a bit. We're going to make it a nice big finishing line. It makes sense for it to be easy to hit. How does that look? Um, yeah. You can see I've set myself up for testing here. I've got my cars back here, my car in front, so it's easy for me to just quickly drive up to it and see that the finishing line works as it should. Uh, now I'm going to use triggers here. So my box glider here, I'm going to make it is trigger. Otherwise, you just hit it and you stop. So it is trigger just means it triggers an event. Um, now the thing that it's going to collide with each of the cars has a collider. As or set of colliders actually. Um, there's probably a better way to do this, but I don't know. So what I have done to make this work for me is I have decided that the collide because the car has got several colliders, bottom, body, and front. I'm going to say the collider at the front is tagged as player because we need to detect whether it's the player or the AI cars which we're colliding with. So this front is player. All these other ones are just going to come up as untagged. We're not going to worry about that because we're not going to take an interest in that. And then each of these other cars, they've each got a collider as well, collider front, currently untagged. I'm going to add a tag and make a new tag called AI car. Looks pretty good. And then if I just click back on it, it's untagged, but I can now select AI car. And I'm going to do that for each one of my cars. Collider front, it's going to be tagged as AI car. Would have been better if I'd made one first and then um, copied and pasted that, wouldn't it? Because then I wouldn't have had to do this for each car. Uh, last one, colliders, collider front, and. Uh, AI car. Oh, and did I want to make them triggers as well? I forgot to do that. Trigger, collider front, trigger, collider front, triggers, trigger. Did that for that one. And did I do it for this one? Nope. Right, so they're going to trigger collisions. So all the cars are going to trigger collisions when they collide with my uh, thing. Now, did I put this inside this hierarchy? What's going on here? I'm so confused. So easily confused. A noisy bird here as well. There we go. That's the finishing line. Everything is correct. Uh, now this game object, I'm going to call it something. I'm going to rename it and call it finish line. Um, these triggers are going to trigger a script. So if I go back to here, select new script, I'm going to call it um, Detect winner, good name is any, create an ad, and then edit that script. And edit script. And we're not going to have a start and an update for that. All it's going to do is detect uh, trigger events. And uh, what I'm just going to get it to do is um, I'm just going to look at the, the tag. If other is the thing that we collided with, you can see that up here, the, this, the whole collision. And we can ask about the tag of it. And we can say, is it equal to player? If it is equal to player, then I'm just going to stuff the thing into the console for a moment. So debug.log. Uh, and I'm going to say winner, winner, chicken winner. And 
uh, I'm going to do an else if here. Else if. How do you do else ifs? In, well, maybe that might work, might not. Else if uh, is not correct syntax. Else if other dot tag equals uh, what was it? AI car. Yep. Then we're going to do whatever's here, which is debug dot log, and we're going to say uh, you lost because the car got there before us or something. We we'll, we we'll, we just want to check that it works, and then we can work out what should be here. Am I happy with this? I think that might work. Um, let's go back to Unity. Hit play. What are the chances of this all actually working? I uh, don't like this error. Let's just try hitting play and see what happens. I'm going to be looking at the console. Go forwards. It says winner. It's probably now going to say you lost, you lost, you lost because all those other cars came through behind me. So um, it's good that we've detected uh, me crossing the line and these other four cars crossing the line. That's an important step in the right direction. Um, I was just having to think about what would happen at that point. I did a little bit of Googling. Is it this one? Um, yeah, I, I was, this would work. We could just kind of drop this in here. And uh, this freezes everything. So if I just go into, where was it? Here, yeah. Debug.log winner and stop everything. Just check that works, shall we? Back to Unity, hit play. And wait patiently, try hit and play again. Yeah, okay, gotcha. So drive forwards. It says winner and everything has stopped. That works. Um, I'm just gonna have a quick look at a couple of other options that I've got. Um, so I did a little while ago some videos. Uh, this is my channel, so just Google for Charlie Smith. And uh, I had this video here, Parkour 1 and Part 2. Part 2 is very short. And basically, this is like a parkour game. And again, it uses that trigger thing to detect when you get to the end of the level, just like crossing a finish line. And at that point, it switches you into a brand new scene where, of course, anything could be happening. It could be another race course. Or it could be just a big shower of gold coming from the sky or something, whatever you want as the finishing scene. So one option would be for when you win that you um, you go to a different scene and when you lose, you go to a different, different scene, which is something horrible. Um, so that's one option. And if going further down here, scroll down, down, down. I've got one here about time trials, which uses similar ideas, not exactly the same ideas, similar ideas. So you can have a timer thing going on as well. But kind of up to you at that point. Um, I'm going to leave it to your imagination. Uh, but at least we have been able to detect me crossing the line and them crossing the line and whether it was me or them.